Hey guys, Robbie Richards here. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Thrive Leads form editor to quickly customize your opt-in forms. Okay, so we're in the lead group dashboard here, and we're just going to click the content promotion ebook. And from our last video, we added a light box popper. So in order to edit that design, we're just going to click the edit button and we'll be brought into the form settings page where we can see the metrics. We can see our display trigger, uh, display frequency animation. Once again, just clicking these links, we can customize these as well. But for now, we just want to change the design. So we'll click the edit button and we'll be taken into the Thrive Leads form editor page. Now there's two powerful ways that we can use this particular feature of the tool. First, and for, for me personally, I'm design challenged at the best of times. So I just like to drag and drop my own images and content into the pre-built opt-in templates that Thrive Leads provides. Uh, but another really powerful feature or a way that you can use the form editor is using its built-in integration with the Thrive Content Builder. Now, the, what Thrive Content Builder is, if you haven't heard of it before, is it's a really cool plugin that the Thrive Themes team um, offers. And it makes building landing pages, uh, any type of page really on your site, a WordPress site, extremely easy because they give you over 30 different uh, page elements you can quickly add. And each one has a bunch of different styles and options that you can use from testimonials to uh, pricing tables to in Google and map embeds, countdown timers, responsive videos, you name it, you can add practically anything to your page by simply dragging and dropping it into the sections of your form. Very, very easy. Now for this example, uh, for this form, just to make it quick, I'd click the edit image button here and I can add different colors, border types, positioning, links. Now I can ch easily change the size of the image. I can even use the event manager. And what this will allow me to do, I'll just click it by, if I want to add an event to this specific image, I would just click here and then I could trigger it. Uh, let's say when it comes into the, um, display or the viewport. So whenever anyone sees it on the page, I could say, hey, I want to animate it. And then um, what this will do is if I add an animation to this specific element, is it will allow me to add an animation to the element which, so let's just say zoom out. You know, we can do that with actual elements on our actual, on the actual form itself. So that's pretty cool. But for now, we'll keep it simple. Uh, I'm just going to change out the image on this. So it'll as soon as you click change image, it'll open up your WordPress media library. And I'm just going to scroll down and try and find my uh, content promotion ebook cover because that is what we're using for our offer. So I'll insert it into the post. Once again, I can change out the image size and edit that. And then in order to edit the uh, copy, I'll just click here and change out the copy. It's just a WYSIWYG editor. All these different options from placement, adding links, changing heading format font size, all of that's very, very simple, just clicking in here. And then let's just say that I want to edit the form. Uh, I can connect it to my autoresponder. I can change the layout from vertical to horizontal. You want to make sure that that looks good. Change out the dimensions, um, positioning, font size, error messages if someone uh, enters in an invalid uh, value into one of the fields. Editing components, so for the submit button, we just click there and then we can um, change out the call to action button text, uh, font size, you can change out the colors, max width, you know, we can change, can change pretty much everything in here as well. You can add a border if you want. Very, very easy by using the built-in WYSIWYG editor on those form elements. And once again, if you want to actually um, add in some additional elements, say you want to add in like a video, just go, come over here and scroll down drag in the responsive um, video container and then you just click video and then you can simply just paste in your Vimeo or YouTube URL and you can even have it preset to hide different elements of the video like the YouTube logo and whatnot. Uh, you can just play around, think through, look, you've got guarantee boxes, you've got testimonials, say you want to add a testimonial under your ebook to add some social proof and increase the uh, conversion rate on your form. You can do that very easy, just drag and drop it onto the form and edit the text. Uh, very, very, very easy to customize your form. One last thing is you can come in here and say that you're not very happy with this form, you want to change it out. Uh, you can just come in, choose a different opt-in template. It'll bring you back over to the opt-in template page. Um, and then, you know, you can choose a different one based off of whatever need you, you might have. Or uh, So let's just say, for instance, um, okay, 
for this ebook, I want to change out the design. Maybe maybe I want to use the video template. So I'll just choose that one now. And then I'll click open. And then instantly I have another uh, beautiful template that has already been tested and optimized. So, you know, we can just start from there, drag and drop your images and your text in, connect it to your autoresponder. And then we'll just press save changes. And then that's done. And then your new form design is live and ready to rock. So that's just a very quick uh, overview of the form editor. As you can see, limitless possibilities with editing your forms and making customizations. Uh, jump in there, give it a go for yourself. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you in the next video tutorial. Thanks.